have fallen for reasons untold. It was not for what they had betrayed, but for whom betrayed if them if. Bravo, Christopher. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Although I'm not feeling any of it. What do you mean? I mean, I think we should go in a different direction. The performance you have right now is stale and lacks a sort of um, originality to the part. It's a Shakespeare play. <laughs> is it, though? Yes, literally. Try reading this one. I did not adjust the words, only the way that you portray the words. So the parenthetical? Yes. I didn't know you knew what that meant. Well. Really? Say the lines with the emotion I have provided, Christopher. You're not doing it properly. That, that's because I, I don't know what, say it like a coagulated duck means. Feel it, Christopher. How? Be creative, it's all about make-believe. I see, so it's only make-believe unless I do the wrong make-believe. Got it. Brandon. I don't think this is necessary. Brandon, please demonstrate what a coagulating duck is. Did you just make a pun? Many have fallen for reasons untold. Quack. Wonderful, Brandon. What in the f was that? Christopher. That was a coagula coagulated whatever the f duck? Let's try another one, Christopher. An oriental megaphone? Brandon. You can't write stuff like this. You're gonna offend somebody. Once more, please. Ni shi yadali ren. Yes, Brandon. This is seriously effed up. I'm sorry, Christopher. This is messed up. This whole play makes no sense. Are you telling me that you are suddenly incapable of performing in my show. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Leave, Christopher. Jane, come on. You know me. You, you know I can act. Leave my stage. Right. You know, this is, this is what you want. Brandon, say that first line again. Many hath fallen for reasons untold. Quack. God, you're wonderful, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs>